Hi there, thank you for joining me for another Assemble This video. Today's card is all about this beautiful sunflower. I'm going to be using Copic markers to color in this vibrant red and yellow sunflower and the dark navy background. I just love the way that this turned out with such a simple layout. I'm featuring the September 2021 stamp set from Unity Stamp Company called Sunflower Wishes. Just love that big, bold sunflower and all the great sentiments in this kit. I've already stamped out the flower and bees with a Copic Friendly ink on some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Some of my favorite inks are Memento or Gina K Amalgam inks. They are both Copic Friendly. And I grabbed some Copic markers to color with today. I'm starting out with my red tones. I'm just going to color in the center petals with red. And I'm using R02, R05, and R08. In watching other people color, I've noticed that there are two main methods of coloring. Some start with light and then blend in with dark and then light again. Others start with the dark and blend in with the light colors. I tend to do a mix of both. I like the variety of both methods. It creates a more natural look for me when I'm not doing the same method over and over again. So my basic goal for each petal is to have the lighter color at the tip and then the darker color at the base. That's generally um, where the shading's going to be. So I started with the lighter color at the tip and then came in with my darker colors at the base. This next set of petals, I switched that up. I put the dark at the base and then came in with the light and then just did some blending over um, both of those using the light colors. Next, I'm gonna come in and do the second layer of petals. I'm going to be using Y02, Y15, and then again pull in a little bit of that red by using RO2. This time I just colored the whole entire petal with Y02 and then came in with Y15 and RO2 at the base. And then I'll just use that Y15 or Y02 to kind of blend that out to make it smooth. I like the little bit of red to kind of deepen the, the shadow and then it kind of mimics the blending of the red petals into the yellow as well. I went searching for different sunflower colors on the internet. I didn't know if there were different varieties and I was so surprised at all the different ones out there. In the end I was really uh, inspired by this red sun sunflower. I just love the combo of the red and the yellow together. It's just a beautiful um, sunflower. Uh, I can't wait to um, do some other ones. There's lots of reds involved in sunflowers which I didn't know. Now I moved on to the center of the sunflower. I'm just using a variety of E brown tones, um, E53, E57, and E59. And I'm doing these in the, the dotted method, just dotting polka dots all over. I like the variety of the different colors and then just maybe having a hint of the white from the paper still shining through. The center of that flower is fairly solid, um, but the, the variety in color is important. And then I use the Y15 to just color in the little bees bodies and then B00 to color in their, their little wings. So now that everything was colored in on the flower side, I grabbed a B39, which is a nice dark blue color, kind of navyish, and I'm outlining everything first. That way I don't have to worry about going too far into the other uh, colored images when I'm doing the background filling in. So this takes a little bit of time and you gotta be extra careful, but it's worth it to do the outline first. And then I'll just come in with small circular motions and really saturate that paper so I get a nice dark background. You can always go back in and do a layer over if you find that there's some splotchy white lighter areas. So once all the coloring was done, I decided to mat the sunflowers on some dark brown cardstock. 
I die cut that out and then used a smaller rectangular die to pick the portion of the flowers I liked best. I'm using my stamp sentiment strip to determine um, which portion I wanted. Uh, I just like the way that those bees kind of framed the, the sentiment. Once that was die cut, I grabbed my dark, uh, darkest brown marker and just went around the edges. That way the edge of the cut paper doesn't really look so stark against my mat. I put my sentiment in the center. I wanted it, I thought, to go from edge to edge, but I didn't like that, so I ended up trimming off the, the tails, and then I just added a few sequins at the end. And here is the finished card. I just love the bold colors from that red sun-inspired sunflower and the dark blue background. And just the simple design with the cute little bees and sequins just finished everything off so well. I'll have all the supplies linked in the description of this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Plus, if you have any questions or sweet comment, post below. Thank you so much for creating with me. I hope you were inspired and I'll see you next time. Bye!